Hey y'all, it's Jessica. So I am here with another Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs haul. I actually um, taped this video yesterday. I set up my ring light, I put on my microphone, did the whole video, and then went to watch it so that I could upload it. And I realized that even though I set up my light, I didn't turn it on. So um, I looked like I had a black eye and you could barely see. So I decided to go ahead and refilm today. I um, am not the fanciest person. Um, my hair is kind of a mess. I don't ever wear makeup, but the lighting was so bad <laughs> that I figured I should probably do it again. So you're probably thinking, Jesse, how do you have another haul video? You said you weren't gonna buy except for Black Friday. Well, it turns out that I'm a liar with a shopping problem. But mostly what happened was Ray. <laughs> Ray is a Hannah Lynn kit. And when she came out, oh, can you hear my dog? When she came out, I was so sad about missing Janessa. I was like, well, I'm not going to let Ray slip through my fingertips. Um, it's also a smaller canvas. It's only 17 inches by 24 inches. Sometimes the giant ones, like Dreamer Designs, are what I tend to pick. They're just too much. They take too long. And I just wanted some smaller canvases. So since I have already done this video, I've already opened them all up, um, taken out the toolkits and whatnot. So let's just go ahead and show you the canvas. Look at Ray. Isn't she beautiful? I feel like Hannah Lynn just does the most amazing mermaids. And what's funny is I actually think I just colored this one because Hannah Lynn has amazing coloring books that you can get like on Amazon or on her website or on Etsy and her website. She also has downloadable coloring books. So I usually buy the download and then I have some Bristol vellum cardstock that Sarah Renee Clark recommended and I use that. And my daughter and I love coloring Hannah Ray. So I told you I already opened these. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the cover binders that I got. Um, I had started using release papers, but now I'm back to using just the plastic, just so that I can use the cover binders. This heart I think is my favorite. Let me see, I need to adjust the lighting because I think it's too bright. There you go. Okay, well I look creepy, but that cover binder sure looks pretty. And I popped it. I'm gonna turn that light back up because y'all don't need to see me like that. So this cover binder came without the magnet, so I'll have to glue that magnet on. And this cover binder, the magnet flip, slipped right off, and it turns out it's just held on by a glue dot. It's not even like a like epoxy glue. So no wonder that fell off. So I'll have to fix that one too. They are really cute though. Um, I put them on my filing cabinets. My kids love playing with the magnets. So I like the cover binders. So Diamond Art Club also includes washi tape, which I don't use for diamond painting. Sometimes I use it for the edges when I'm finishing the canvases. Um, but mostly I just use it for art stuff. Honestly, I think a lot of people in this section put washi tape because washi tape isn't super tacky. I think they, like, they use it just because it's so pretty, <laughs> but maybe it's not the best tool. I don't know. If you think washi tape is the best thing you can use for sectioning diamond painting, go ahead and comment below and tell me that. Um, I just don't get it. But man, I love washi tape. It's so pretty. So all three of them are floral. I like this kind of like, um, it's almost, are those dandelions? Purple dandelions. These are just little blooms. These kind of remind me of cherry blossoms. So all kind of in those same mulberry, purple, maroon shades. Very pretty. I'm excited about that. So the next one I bought, I bought for my daughter, even though she's totally going to steal Ray from me. I'm going to try to hang Ray up in my craft room. I feel like the rainbow colors match really well. Um, I got, it's Marilyn Casanave, whose name I'm probably saying wrong. Um, she does all these adorable little animals, and I bought Cat and Cupcake. And this is actually a partial drill. It's not a full drill area. Only the cat and the um, ice cream bowls and the cupcake have drills. And then the rest is just kind of a iridescent shimmery canvas. So I'm a little nervous because sometimes um, partial drill canvases have the sticky area outside the canvas. So I'm going to have to hope that doesn't occur in a, good, a high quality painting like Diamond Art Club. Eh, actually, it looks like it might stop pretty well. Um, and if it does, then I'll have to do a video about what I did to keep it from getting dog hair all over it. Because in this house, dog hair everywhere. So by the same artist... I have been wanting, she does so many little like magic designs. I, I'm kind of a sucker for magic as a theme. Um, this one is a much, much larger canvas than I thought it would be. I don't pay attention to numbers. I really should. They tell you how big they're going to be, but I just order the cute designs. But y'all, check out 
Yorkie and Magic books. Oh my God, is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love them so much. There's another one that has like a, a cat with magic stuff, but there's a giant spider on it. And because it's a partial drool, you can't cover it up. Like, I just don't know if I'm into the giant spider. <laughs> so, so those are my diamond art clubs. I love them so much and they're smaller so I can do them between projects. Um, right now I have two designs happening. I have um, Love That, which is Diamond Art Club. And then upstairs, I don't remember the name, but it's the Dreamer Designs with the floral that I showed in my haul that I just love so much. So up next are the Dreamer Designs. Um, let's see, do I have the... Dreamer Designs had a new tray where instead of like the stopper that I always throw ever like... The stoppers that Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs put on their trays, they, they, they're so hard for me to deal with in the plastic that I actually make a bigger mess than when there are no stoppers at all. But Dreamer Designs has this new thing now where it's like a hinge. and Or maybe it's an old one. I don't know if it was a new kit or an old kit. But it's the best tray I've ever gotten. So I'll have to show that on a different video because it's not in my sight line, so I don't think I can just go grab it right now. So, Dreamer Designs. This is Moon Lily. And Moon Lily is absolutely huge look at that look at her hair oh my gosh she has a care bear in her hair which is so weird but i love i love her phase of the moon tattoos i she also has a cat in her hair there's so much going on in this but look how big this canvas is this canvas will take me a year alone so that's why i kind of started getting the smaller canvases but I couldn't let Moon Lily possibly slip away. I've wanted her for so long um, that I decided I should go ahead and buy it now because these things, they, they don't always stay in stock. I mean, nothing does anywhere, right? But, but I feel like diamond art goes in and out of stock and you just don't know when things are going to be discontinued and you got to take your chance. But the next one was actually only a maybe on my list. But here's the thing. I am not above just buying things because they have my name on them. So yes, the marketing of naming your characters worked because here is Jessie. Isn't she so pretty? And again, she's got the beautiful two-toned hair. She has a pinnacle necklace that I really like. Um, she's got her Walkman. I was born in the 80s, so I like my Walkman and I just love her so much. I wanna get at least one of these or Salem or Catching Fire, which are in my stash, done before Halloween. So, Thank you so much for watching. I didn't show you the drills. I know there's some unboxing videos where they go through every bag of drill and show you the drills. Is that something you like? Like, would it have been better for me to actually tell you like, oh, this design has this many drills or what, what kind of information do you like to hear in unboxing videos? I know that when I watch them, I just look at the canvases. I wanna see the canvases. The ones that show every drill are a little bit too slow for me, but you tell me what you wanna see and I'll get it done for you because I'm so happy you're here watching my channel. Um, it would really help me if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to get back to monetization, so every minute you watch, I really appreciate that you're here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!